When you play a song that has a nice buildup and an incredible drop, do you ever feel like you want to do more? Like you want to be more involved with the track to create more hype for the buildup. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you two techniques to do just that. Now, the part of the song that you want to focus on is the buildup, which normally occurs to two beats right before the drop. So that'll be the only section we'll be affecting with our high pass filter, noise filter, effects and volume fader to create those two awesome techniques. Now, if you guys want to follow along with this tutorial and practice with the same tracks I use here, you can download them for free by joining my membership program. Besides getting access to all my DJ edits, you'll also get access to my secret DJ tutorials like my one hour long Scratch Course Masterclass, my 30 minute student mix breakdown, and a whole lot more. Anyway, the two techniques I'll teach in this video will apply to making a good buildup better and a lackluster buildup stronger. And both tricks work with any DJ equipment with any DJ software. So let's start with the first technique. So the first technique utilizes the following things. The high pass filter knob, a one half delay effect, and the volume fader. And this technique works best in strengthening an already good buildup. So the first thing we're going to do is select our delay effect and set the beat parameter to one half. So the purpose of this effect is to layer our buildup. Next, we're going to cue point our song so that we can visually see what parts we should be affecting. So cue point A will be the section where we should start doing this trick and that's the buildup segment of this song. And this is about 32 beats away from the drop. Next, let's mark Q point B. This section is 16 beats away from the drop. And this Q point here will visually cue us to start cracking this technique out even more because the buildup segment of this song will really start to be going off here, so we'll have to match its energy. So with our effect armed and our track prepped, the first thing we should do when we reach the buildup segment is start cranking out the high pass filter knob from the 12 o'clock position to the 2 o'clock position. And at the same time, crank our delay effect knob from the 7 o'clock position to the 9 o'clock position. And we'll do this till we reach the Q point B section of the song. Once you reach that point, it'll be time now to only focus on the high pass filter knob and volume fader. So what we'll do is that as we near the drop, we'll crank out that high pass filter knob to the 3 o'clock position, and we'll be dragging the volume fader up and down to get a stuttery sound effect. And finally, once you reach the drop, we'll bring the filter knob back to the 12 o'clock position, leave our volume fader at the top, and deactivate our delay effect. Now, if you guys really want to take this trick to the next level, you can also try cracking the high pass filter knob clockwise and counterclockwise as you near the drop. So the second technique specializes in making a decent buildup better and it utilizes the following things to do so. The noise filter knob, a one-off echo effect, and the volume fader. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our one-off echo effect. And the reason why we chose the echo effect over the delay effect is because this effect layers the sound way more than the delay effect. Anyway, let's now set up our noise effect. 
To do this on Rekordbox DJ, go to Settings. In the View section, scroll down till you see the Effect panel. Then click Beat Effects plus Sound Color Effects. Then close the Settings menu. Now at the top left section of your screen, go to the CFX section and click the single dot. Then click User. And from the Filter tab, select Noise and make sure it's highlighted. Then finally, bring the parameter knob to the 1 o'clock position. And now you can do this with your filter knob. So on Rekordbox DJ, it's pretty simple. When you reach the cue point A section of the song, activate your echo effect and grab the filter knob and effect knob and turn both knobs clockwise. On the filter knob, we'll start at the 12 o'clock position. And on the effect knob, we'll start at the 7 o'clock position. So we'll bring the filter knob to the 4 o'clock position and the effect knob to the 2 o'clock position till we reach the last 4 beats of the buildup before the drop. And once we're there, we'll simply bring both knobs to the neutral position at 12 o'clock and 7 o'clock respectively and deactivate the effect. Now on Serato DJ, there is no inbuilt noise effect unless you purchase the chip effects pack. But luckily, I have found a workaround. So first, check the links down below in the description and download the noise sample sound for free. Once you get the track, load it up on an empty deck on Serato DJ and activate your one-off echo effect on it. So basically, to replicate the noise effect, we'll have to high pass filter and echo the deck with the noise sample sound. Anyway, let's now move on to doing the second technique. Now on Serato DJ, we'll have to first determine the volume of the noise sample sound you want to use. I typically stay pretty low at about this section over here. But it's totally up to you and your ears to decide how strong you want your noise sample sound to be. Anyway, once you reach the cue point A section of the track, that'll be a cue to play our noise effect. And once you do that, we'll also activate our echo effect and turn the filter and effect knob all the way to the 5 o'clock position as this track continues to play. So for both knobs, we'll start at the 7 o'clock position. And ideally, we'll reach the 5 o'clock position 4 beats before the drop. And once we're there, we'll quickly bring down the volume fader of the noise sample sound and let the other track just play out. Now you guys know two awesome techniques to take your DJ to the next level. But if you really want to ensure that you nail these two tricks live, you guys gotta check out Young Guru's online class on how to DJ from setup to sound check. There he teaches you a bunch of things, like how to set up your equipment, how to make sure everything sounds right, and just how to have an overall better and smoother time DJing live. So if you want to check out that DJing Live Masterclass and a whole lot more, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link down below will get two free months of free membership on Skillshare so you can explore your creativity. And Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. With over 20,000 classes in music production, graphic design, songwriting, and more, which are all fueled by passionate creatives like myself, you're pretty much set for life if you want to learn anything new efficiently, effectively, and economically. Because an annual subscription on Skillshare just costs us $10 a month. So make 2020 a year where we explore new skills, deep and existing passions, and get lost in creativity with Skillshare's online classes. Anyway, let's now move on to the bonus technique. Once you master techniques one and two, it'll be time then to get creative and apply everything we've learned so far to make an even better buildup. So let's first set up our three effects. First is a noise filter effect, and we'll have this be at the 2 p.m. position. Second is the echo effect and we'll set its beat parameter to one half. 
third is the pad effects trans effect and we'll set this to one fourth. Anyway, now set your echo effect to affect the opposite deck of your build up track and also ready your pad effects there as well. So the main idea of this technique is that from the build up track's cue point A section to B section, we'll turn the noise filter effect to the 3 o'clock position. And we'll also activate our echo effect on it and turn its knob to the 11 o'clock position. Then from the cue point B section to the last 8 beats of the build up track, we'll activate our trans pad effects on our noise filter sound as we continue to turn the noise filter knob clockwise. Then once you reach the last 8 beats of the build up track, we'll rock the noise filter knob from the 3 o'clock position to the 6 o'clock position while still having a trans effects pad effects activated on it. Then finally, once you reach the last 4 beats of the build up track, we'll sweep our noise filter knob to the 6 o'clock position, then back to the 12 o'clock position while still affecting it with our pad effects trans effect. And that's it. Let me know which technique was your favorite and why. And with that said, I will see you all in the next one.